In this video tutorial, we will explain it to you that how you can rectify the mistake that will be committed by R when reading the categorical data. So currently we are in a working directory test and we are going to load our clinical data set which is present in the form of CSV in our working directory using this piece of code. We have already explained you this piece of code many times in a previous module and we hope so that now this will be easy for you to understand this piece of code. So let's run this piece of code and let's check out the structure of the data. When you will check out the structure of this data set in the console, then you are going to find it out that the sex, diabetic status, smoker status, and the exercise frequency variables are not read properly in R. These are the categorical variables, but read as integer or a character. Now the question comes here that how to rectify this mistake. So please let us tell you that how you can rectify this mistake. So let's first type a hash to add the correct. After typing this comment, now let's write down the piece of the code that will rectify that mistake. Now in this piece of code, first we are going to type out the name of the variable that is holding our data set and name of that variable is a data. After it, we will type the dollar sign. We hope so that now you will have a good idea that why we are using that dollar sign. This dollar sign is used to select the column in which we are interested. So let's select the sex column first. After selecting the sex column, we are going to type this sign of equality operator. After typing this sign of equality operator, we are going to use a one function and this function is as dot factor. After typing this as dot factor function, we will give the parenthesis. After giving the parenthesis, once again, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our data and that is a data. After this, we will give the dollar sign and select the column in which we are interested right now. And that column is a sex. After doing this, we will run this piece of code by hitting the run button or pressing the control enter key. When we will do that, then look at the console, we got no error message. It means that our code has successfully been executed. Now what this piece of code has done? Basically this piece of code has changed the data type of the sex variable from character to the factor. We will show it to you very shortly. Now let's try to fix this mistake for the other three variables as well which is a smoking status, diabetic status, and the exercise frequency using similar set of the code. Now we have written the code to change the data type of the diabetic status from integer to the factor. Let's run this code. Now, as you can see it here that we got no error message once again. Now let's repeat this process for the other two variable as well. So through this four-liner code, we tried to change the data types of our four columns including sex, diabetic status, smoker status, and the exercise frequency. Now let's check out the structure of our data set once again to see that the data types are really changed or not by typing str and data. Now if you look at here in a console, then you will see that in front of the sex, the factor is written. Similarly, in front of the diabetes, the factor is written. Likewise, in front of the smoker status and the exercise frequency, the factors are written. Now we have successfully changed the data type of all of these columns in our data set from character to the factor and from integer to the factor. Now we are good to go to analyze this categorical data using the different tools. 
which we will explain you in upcoming video tutorials.